excited to do your makeup today. You, um, you and I go way back. We know each other for quite a while now. I am so excited. And about this. you actually, I remember being in the office when I just launched MB Beauty. So do I. I remember that. And I was so drawn to your jewelry. A friend of mine wore one of your rings, and I was like, I have to have this piece, which is this guy right here. I literally oh, wear right. it. The compass. The compass. I wear it every day, mm -hmm. and people comment on it all the time and this one I'm so drawn to as well because of the ladder and the snake mm -hmm. and the ladder reminds me because I'm an immigrant and I'm from Austria and I came here with literally nothing and it reminds me that you kind of have to climb the ladder uh, in life and I feel like the snake protects me so this is I'm like very, saying nothing I just love to hear what you take from it it's a very special ring to me I, I've never felt more connected to, to, to jewelry than those two pieces they're like my favorites so I'm really excited today that. to actually be here and just you know show the world and you know talk about you a little bit about your business as well and also show you my products and kind of like show you how to use them correctly because you are to me you're like the perfect california beauty you're like so natural you don't wear a lot of makeup you're very kind of you're like the kind of woman i grew up with in austria like women look very much like you and i love a woman when she doesn't really need to wear makeup and she feels confident and you kind of embody that to me so i'm uh, also an immigrant you are yeah Canadian. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, right. You but actually that. German. Maybe that's why we have this connection. It could be. You know. <laughs> um, very quickly, because people are going to want to know what I'm doing, I'm just applying the undercover face cream on you mm -hmm. before I do anything. And Which you, I have in love. You literally, she doesn't have a stitch of makeup on. And so I like to always prep a little bit with skincare. I'm mm -hmm. also going to put on the hyaluronic lip tint and this product is clear but it what it does it's really hydrating and it just gives you like you know that juicy plumpy lip back and it feels really comfortable on the lip feels great i'm gonna put a little bit more over the face cream i'm gonna add a little bit of that face oil and more on the outer parts of your face where I feel like you need a little extra hydration. Set into your skin. Instead of rubbing it, I like to press it. Okay, I'm learning. To me, skincare is so important. A lot of people kind of forget that step. And when I get someone ready for the red carpet and when I do someone's makeup, I really mm -hmm. focus on the skin because I feel like when your skincare is right and your skin looks good, your makeup will look good. So. Unique about Blender Cover, which is my kind of hero product, and that's what I'm kind of mm -hmm. known for, which I'm gonna use next on you. Mm -hmm. This has really beautiful ingredients such as Edelweiss and Arnica. And the Arnica is really unique in this product because mm. the Arnica sort of like calms down the mm. redness. So it's actually really good for people with rosacea. Yeah. And that's so, probably the only thing I wear. I'm going to use a little bit of the shade 3 on you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a little bit of the 2.5 under your eyes for brightening. And believe it or not, I'm going to show you how to contour a little bit or bronze. So I'm going to use mm -hmm. the darker shade, which is this shade, for mm -hmm. a little bit of a contour. Which I know it, sounds, it looks very intimidating. But it's going to look like <laughs> I promise you. I'll just trust you. <laughs> So I'm basically using like anything these, you these three shades. Start with the lightest shade mm -hmm. first under your eye. Just for a little bit of a brightening effect. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade three. First question for you is, I, I really wanted to know where the name Retroway came, came from. Sure. Um, so the name of the brand yeah. comes from a French proverb that means the joy in reconnecting with something from your past. So it's kind of like, for me, the marriage of nostalgia with modern messages and just ideas that I wanted to instill in, in my children and thinking about legacy and, um, yeah, everything kind of comes back to that. Wonderful. And I feel like that really 
it power like when I look at your jewelry it really it really says that and I can really see that thank you and you started in 2016 correct yeah I'm like how many years has that been <laughs> seven, seven eight almost still, eight almost yeah. eight years wow and what did God. you do before you started retroway um so I, when I moved to LA from Toronto, mm -hmm. um, I helped, uh, well, I joined a friend as his first employee um, and we started his architectural manufacturing company. Mm -hmm. So actually manufacturing a German product. What was the product? Uh, like a thermally broken aluminum and steel, um, basically like a window and door system, but also, wow. Um, curtain walls and kind of like where other where other companies stopped is like kind of where our sweet spot began. You in, in your designs for jewelry? Not really, but I think I think there's a lot of parallel in like the storytelling, um, the level of projects that we were working on. Um, you know, there's obviously a lot of design element beyond just like the more utilitarian like function of what the buildings need to do yeah, there's yeah. a lot of a lot of storytelling in architecture and i think exactly. like i like carry that for sure into into jewelry design mm -hmm. so i just applied shade three all over and it looks what i love about this product and kind of like the goal with this product yeah. was i wanted it to really look like your own skin mm -hmm. because i personally don't love wearing a lot of foundation same but i wanted it to to, to cover certain things. With the 625, I know that this looks very intimidating to do a darker shade, but all I really do is I kind of like put it right underneath your cheekbone. So huh. when you suck in your cheeks and you go like that, this is kind of mm -hmm. like where you want to place it. And I also like to put it a little bit on the temple. So if you just place it here, it looks kind of obvious uh -huh. and fake. So you want to kind of cheat it a little bit. So I like to bring it in the temple and I would also bring it a little bit into the forehead around your hairline, basically. Got it. And what this does, it just kind of like gives you a little bit more dimension in your face. And that's something I do as a makeup artist. I never just use one color. I always bring in a darker shade for dimension. Which one of your brushes is that? That's the hybrid queen brush. Okay. I also like to do it here in the jawline as well. Do you have my brushes? I do. So that's why I'm asking, which one do I have? <laughs> <laughs> and then I like to actually switch it out okay. to the bigger guy, the buffing uh -huh. brush. And that brush sort of like does the work of buffing the product in. And I, as you can see, I don't uh, swipe. Mm -hmm. I kind of just push it into your skin. And sometimes I even bring it into your eye makeup. So I have one other brush, which is the Tulip brush. And if you're like on the go, you don't have a lot of time to do your eye makeup, I just add a little bit on the outer corner and also give your eye a little bit of dimension. So I'm basically contouring your eye as well. And then you can use this guy again and just buff it in and I like to buff it outwards and upwards because I like to lift everything you know you always want to go mm -hmm. one other question I was really dying to ask you because I am also a brand founder and a very young brand founder I just started mm -hmm. three years ago and no one ever talks about because you know on instagram everything always looks so rosy and beautiful and easy and yeah, everyone is successful uh -huh. and i also kind of like to ask like what are sort of like or what have been like your biggest challenges starting the brand because i know for myself it's not mm -hmm. been easy and i definitely have many hard days where i'm like oh this is yes. really difficult yes so i wanted to just kind of like see how you know what your experience has been oh my gosh i'm like there's so many challenges yeah oh so many challenges where, where would i even uh start? Hmm. You can yeah just i would say 
I think um, in the beginning, I would say, and maybe like, maybe you'll relate to this is, is like putting yourself out there and, um, and really just like, you know, you never feel like something's Having ready. Confidence also. Well, you just never feel like something's ready. It's never finished. It's never like fully developed. So you yeah. kind of just like hold on to something as opposed to like getting feedback along the way. That. And, and I think that it's so valuable to have like, um, you know, de this is probably applicable to like any industry, but ju just to have feedback and a little bit of validation, um, Absolutely. you know, rather than just like being under your rock and in your bubble. So we just very, very lightly contoured you. It's super, super natural. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to do, this is our liquid flash. It's like a cream blush, but it's liquid. And what's really unique about this product is first of all, it has this doe foot applicator. I just put like two dots and all you really do is you can use your fingers if you want to. And if you're in a rush, I'm going to use the hybrid brush I used earlier for blender cover. And I'm just sort of like buffing it into your skin. And this is so easy to use. A lot of liquid blushers are a little bit intimidating because yeah. they take a long time to blend into your skin. And this product, literally you just saw I did two puffs and it's, it's literally blended in your skin. I like to bring it a little bit over the bridge of your nose, just like that, because it gives you almost like that sun-kissed effect. And uh, I love kind of like placing it where the, the sun would normally naturally hit mm -hmm. your face. And if you feel like you put too much on, you can always go back with the brush, which had a little bit of the blender cover on it and then you can kind of like go over and soften it if you feel like you need to. So my next question is a big pillar of my brand Monica Blender Beauty is creating products that are intentional and consciously created. I know this is a big pillar of your brand as well, but can you break down what that really means to you? Yeah, of course. I think that everything, like our entire collection is built on intention and purpose. So, you know, there's, there's definitely a lot of significance carried through all the different collections that we make. I think that is what, you know, for me, makes the jewelry really personal and i think that's how other people resonate yeah. beyond just like it you know being something beautiful but like really understanding and resonating with the intention behind the pieces like i did you know like how how it is so important to me when i wear it i just mm -hmm. like resonate to yeah it. it makes you feel a certain way yeah and that's what it's all about yeah. i think is is like evoking you know something inside of you i love it yeah. With Monica Blender Beauty, for us, it's really, you know, being intentional with mm -hmm. sourcing the best ingredients. Mm -hmm. And what's also really important to me is having everything curated and not overproduce. Because, mm -hmm. you know, when I look at some brands and they come out with 40, 50 shades of lipsticks, as an example, for me, sometimes I find that very wasteful. So I wanted to do mm -hmm. like eight lipsticks or nine lipsticks but do like the perfect shades that i know that work on every woman mm -hmm. so just be a little bit more intentional about the production side and how much we create as well and also the ingredients yeah i love that i think yeah. that probably um you're comfortable doing that because you have experience yeah with faces yeah which helps me yeah. thank god um, I brought you this as a gift, uh, which is our new mascara, which just launched two months ago. And we have it in black and brown. I'm going to use the one I'm gifting to you because I'm going to use it directly out of the wand. So mm -hmm. it's um, sterile and safe. Um, this just made it into goop, which is really exciting. And um, I'm really proud of the mascara because it is the eye category mm -hmm. is the hardest category to create a clean product or clean formulation and a mascara is one of the hardest to, to make clean so i'm very proud of this guy and we so it took me like two years to to find the right lab yeah to find the right ingredients to find the right formula so i'm going to do the brown mm -hmm. on you And the reason why I chose the brown for you is because 
you are like the kind of no makeup makeup kind of girl and i think brown is gonna be so it's gonna be like your go-to yes i feel like i've never actually or i worn know a, i've never worn a brown mascara so this excites me and it's truly like a buildable formula so that means the first coat you apply is very mm -hmm. natural and that's why i call it the architect eyes buildable mm. mascara because you kind of like your own architect with the mascara mm -hmm. so you can what i like to do i like to build my mascara so i do one coat let it dry and then you go back in for like one two three more coats mm -hmm. especially in the evening when you wear a little bit more eye makeup right now we're gonna do maybe two coats because it's during the day and you're not wearing that much makeup. I just wanted to ask you mm -hmm. a few more questions about beauty, beauty related questions. What is you, what is your kind of like relationship with beauty? Do you have, <clears throat> do you have like a ritual? Do you mm -hmm. have any routines or do you, you know, do you? Um, yeah, I feel always for me, like less is more. Yeah. Um, not just like the look of less is more, but actually less is more yeah. because I don't know how to do my own makeup. So yeah. when you came in here, like what, two years ago with the yeah. little pot, I was like, this is amazing. Yeah. It's like my one thing. That's so sweet. I have like that. That's like my one, that's like my everyday, like the only thing that I actually use and eyebrow yeah. pencil because, yeah. you know, children, no more eyebrows. Um, but otherwise I think like, when you were were talking about um you know like skin skincare as like a foundation to me like that's like beautiful skin is like mm -hmm. that Absolutely. to me is like beauty yeah. for me because i'm just i mean i can appreciate it and i love to like yeah. watch someone get their makeup done or i love to get my own makeup done but just like for my every day yeah. i'm like i just want my skin to look good yeah. really i mean that's why i think i relate so much uh -huh. to you because i kind of have the same philosophy even i'm a makeup artist but i actually don't like to wear a lot of makeup myself during yeah. the day and i feel most comfortable most beautiful when i'm actually less is more and i always just want mm -hmm. my skin to really be glowy mm -hmm. and just overall feel very healthy um but my other question i had for you is like when do you feel your most beautiful hmm I mean, I kind of think I would say like it is when I do have my makeup done, even though, yeah. you know, because I'm just so used to and so comfortable to not wear any makeup ever. Yeah. But when I do, you know, when like now I'm like, well, I feel beautiful now. That's great. Well, that's a great answer. I love that. And I don't know. I'm very comfortable not wearing makeup. So yeah. like, of course, I think I'm fine without yeah. makeup, but I do feel I find that so sexy when a woman is comfortable uh -huh. not wearing makeup. And I find that so powerful and strong. And yeah. I think it's great that you can do both. Like you feel, you know, great with makeup. on, Yeah, but you can also not wear it. Yeah. And I think that's awesome. I don't really see you with a lot of lipstick, but I mm -hmm. really love this color for you. It's kind of like this like perfect, I call it like a rosebud kind of color. Yeah. And what I love about our lipsticks is because I personally don't like to wear a lot of lipstick, it feels mm -hmm. really comfortable. And I like to compare the lipstick almost like with your clothing. Mm -hmm. Like I like to be comfortable, but still look sort of like pulled together and she yeah. and I kind of like would compare the lipstick to be that it's, it's just very beautiful the ingredients are like all these oils and butters and it feels comfortable on your lip yeah. and it doesn't feel like you're actually constricted with wearing a lot of lips yeah. and what I love doing with this sometimes too I'm not going to do a lot because you have quite a lot on your cheeks but you could actually if you're in a rush you could actually just add a little bit on your cheeks with it as well mm. so it's sort of like I love creating products that you can wear it in a multi-functional way. And especially if you're a working mom and you're on the go and you just yeah. have this product and the blender cover, you're actually good to go. Love that. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of our lip liner. And this is just so the lipstick doesn't sort of bleed into your skin and it gives you a little bit of a shape. Close your lips.
And I think that that is, that is everything. <laughs>